And when I'm at the Oakland offices of a new company called Orb, which actually was created in 2010, and uh, right here on uh, 13th Street, just off of Broadway, in these uh, great offices you can see here. And the man that I'm about to see is Joe Costello, CEO. No relation to the other guy who runs Twitter. How you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank anything. you so much. It's great to meet you. Good to meet you. Yeah, cool. Hey, tell my viewers about Orb. It's fantastic. So, you know, Orb, I mean, we think we've got a really hot set of products and we're revolutionizing, you know, the whole digital media thing, and specifically the digital home. We're really trying to solve all the problems that people have in the digital home. And tell my, look, show my viewers about Show my viewers how you're doing that because you have your neat uh, iPad. There. Yeah, my little iPod, right? And, uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that iPod. Yeah, I, I said iPod, iPod, pads, iPad, like, yeah, phone, like yeah, yeah. I, IX. Like, padding and potting all over the place. <laughs> um, but off camera, you gave me an incredible demonstration that I want my viewers to see because, uh, folks, this is going to change the way you think about your smartphone and what it can do or your iPod and what it can do with respect to digital television. Yeah, and so I'll, I'll motivate where we came from on this whole thing is that the digital home has been a problem. It's been the promise, the promised land of digital for over a decade, probably over 15 years. I gave my first speeches about the digital home and the promise of it in 1996-97. And when we gave it, it wasn't like some, oh yeah, in a decade it's going to be great. No, it was in the next couple of years. This is really going to be a fabulous market. And for my viewers, you're a veteran here. I mean, you were on the board of Oracle, you yep. had a cadence, so you've been around this for arguably, what, 15 years? Yeah, at, at least 15 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and longer right, than that, longer. Right? 25. Yeah, longer. Right, right longer, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like, oh, gosh, you and me both. But anyway. <laughs> and so, you know, it, it was right around the corner, and the truth is it's been right around the corner every year since 1997. And you know, so then you go, what? When people talk about it and they believe it, it's not like people were just hyping it. They actually believed it was around the corner for the last 15 years. Well, what is it that is the fundamental problem? What's stopping this? And we looked at it and identified two really, really fundamental problems. Number one, if you look at the end of, at at the end of 2009, 98% of the stereo speakers and TV screens in the United States of America were not digitally connected. Hmm. And you think about that for a second. There's the elephant in the room. How can you have a digital home if two they're not connected? Yeah, right, two right. three percent of your stuff's connected. You can't have a digital home. It's impossible. So you got to solve that problem. And then people will say, well, but you now new things are starting to, you know, TVs are starting to be digitally connected. Not so true, right? Mm -hmm. In 2010, the actual data for the year, 70 percent of all TVs shipped in the United States had no digital 70%. connection. 70 percent had no digital connection. So you only had a shot, even in 2010, of thir one third, less than one third of those shipped had a digital connection. Those were almost all wired. And there aren't wired connections near people's entertainment systems in most houses. So we're not solving this problem quickly. So one of the things we said, you've got to, you can't wait till the nirvana of the future when everybody has a connected TV screen and right. stereo, every single one has been changed out. You've got to retrofit. You've got to allow people to buy a simple, inexpensive, super easy device that brings their existing stereos and televisions into the digital world. So that was one. Number two, and that's where, as you said, that's where these mm -hmm. guys come in, mm -hmm. these smart devices. The other problem with the digital home experience was if you looked at when people did build digital TVs, the user experience around them was terrible. Yes. And why was it terrible? Well, because you were trying to use this crazy IR remote control doing on-screen control for rich digital media. Well, from my point of view, this isn't very good for 100 TV channels. By the time in an on-screen you know, selection TV guide, when you get to rich digital media, and I'm talking about tens of thousands of photos of my mm -hmm. own and things up in the cloud, uh, music of tens of thousands of titles, and then cloud music, whether it's a Pandora or a Rhapsody or Napster, Oh my God, then there's video. I've got all my own home videos and the things I've downloaded. And oh, there's YouTube, yeah. you know, Netflix, yeah. Amazon, <laughs> you know, and then on and on and on. No way. This is impossible. You need something up to the task of rich digital media. And that's where these smart devices come in. 
um, whether that smart device and it's anything. Uh, my thing is, if it's got a screen mm -hmm. and any kind of a brain, and I mean literally any kind of a brain, <laughs> could be iPod, iPad, iPhone, of course, all the Android pads and uh, phones, etc., computers, and along the way, there will be way, way more. There'll be a a pods, you know, yeah, that come along, right, and even right. lesser devices. Give me a screen, you know, and a little bit of a smarts, and that becomes my controller. That's the kind of thing that can really handle the richness of digital media and make my selections. So let's play around with sure, this. But before absolutely. I do, oh, just one question. Sure. Magic. What is uh, <laughs> 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 the other important aspect? Is the orb itself, right? Exactly. And let's tell, go over and take yeah, a look. Yeah, sure. And my viewers are going to say, okay, how does the orb relate to the uh, so the iPod? So this yeah. is we had to get into the hardware business, which we did, and we built this device. This one is called Orb Music, our first product mm -hmm. from last year. Mm -hmm. This device, super simple, and you can see just from my hand, I do not have the hands of a giant. <laughs> it's a really small, three inch diameter device. You know, it has two connections power in, that's this cable, right here, and then an audio cable, 3.5 millimeter audio cable out. Hmm. That's it. Wow. You know, that's all it takes to turn any speaker or stereo system into and, a digital device. And that can, so I could have. A, the, these speakers are now converted, are now a digital device. Exactly. And, and I can do that for a television. And you can do it for so a So if I have an analog TV, I can make it into a digital? Exactly. Here it Whoa. is. Whoa. Here's the device. Orb TV. Same, Whoa. Same idea. Just slightly bigger in diameter, three and a half inches. And again, here there's three connects power in, mm -hmm. and I get video out and audio out. And that Whoa. can go into your jacks and a regular old analog, old school television set. Boom! All of my digital content can now go to that screen. So this fills a gap because a lot of people have cable connection. They might have a Direct TV or Dish, right? But they think, okay, I'm digital, but they're really not because they have an analog TV. Exactly. But with this, yep, I get all that digital content over to that television set. Wow. Because my mom's house is like that. She's got five TVs with all analog. Right. And this will allow her to put any of her digital content. Could be digital photos. Could be digital... Yeah, because you know, I was talking to her about that. Excellent. Excellent. Exactly. Show my viewers how this sure. is incredible. Wow. So let's go and look at the actual sure. experience. Okay. And we'll play with it on the actual device itself. Oh, here's here. my question. Someone's going to ask. Sure. How do you sync the... Once this is installed to the... Let's say the... Uh, did stereo. Yep. Does this read that? Does that read uh, this? Is that how, how does that work? Actually, so very that? good. It's a really good question. So, you know, the way it operates is based on, you know, the fundamental architecture of ORB. You know, you have to have somewhere in your network, there is what we call the ORB caster. That's like the air traffic controller. Like, ah. so that's the home base, right? Mm -hmm. And it can run on any PC, any Mac computer. Typically, people put it on their iTunes machine, the huh. place where they store their media, right? That's the guy that's sitting there all the time. Scanning, you know, who's available in the network, you know, how many smart controllers are there, how many of these orb devices are there out there, who's available, and then when I start issuing commands, that little orb caster makes sure that those commands get fulfilled for me. Ah, so that's why they, those icons pop up for each of the, the, the television and... Exactly, and uh -huh. we'll come and we'll show that precisely, because he's exactly right, we'll show you exactly how that works on this. Genius. Genius. And so... You know, here, if you look at the Orb application that I brought up here, mm -hmm. it looks an awful lot like uh, just a normal iPod media application or iPhone media application. Um, in fact, the farther you go into it, the more it looks like that here. By the time I'm in my library, it's identical. And the idea there was, hey, if you can use an iPod, you got to be able to use this. This is an iPod on steroids, and I'll explain huh. that in a second. Uh, so I'll go in here into the artist section. Now, here's where the differences start. If I'm on an iPod or phone or pad, I, you know, I'm looking here at the artists stored in here. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the music mm -hmm. stored in here. Within the within the pop Within this so, right. hardware device, right? right. Uh -huh. And so in the orb world, I am looking at the consolidated index of all my media. So I no longer have to think Be about beyond this. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna think about oh, what 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 I put on that device, you know, is, is it synced up? Is that what's here? No, no, no. This is everything. This is the index of all of my available media. And so that's Item number one that makes it different. Now, item number two, and we'll go in here. I'll pick Al Jarreau. If I hit play on a normal iPod or iPad kinds of device, right, what am I going to get? I'm going to have it play out of the speaker here, right. right? Here's the second choice, and this is what delivers the full promise of the digital home. I have the pull-down menu of all the places yeah. that I can play this, right? And this is where the this is where all the orbs are located. Exactly. Right? All the things all these that are connected, are connected by orb by by. In other words, for my viewers. All of these basically have 
one of these. Some kind of little player, exactly. One of a orb. Exactly. And in my house, I have eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Seven for stereo speaker <laughs> things and four for TV kinds of things, right, at this point. And here I just pick one. In this case, I'll pick, uh, we're in music, I'll pick the living room stereo, which is that first one we looked go at. Go back to that so my viewers can see that again. Yeah, sure. So I'll go back here. Oop. Yeah. I will go back and the list, and I'll pick here the living room stereo. Uh -huh. Boom. And now that's selected. You can see what's always selected at the top. Right, so it shows living room stereo is what I have chosen as my place to play. Mm -hmm. And then it's now just like operating, you know, it is like operating an iPod with two big differences. I see all of my content, and I can put it anywhere I want. But after that, you know, I go hit take five, you know, I hit play. And instead of playing here on this guy, it's going to play over there on the living room stereo. So now we hear it, so it's over here. Hear that, and I've folks? got my volume control. <laughs> Wow. Raise the volume. Lower it. I can skip forward, back, pause. Everything you can do on an iPod, I can do here, except now I can control any device as an output device in my home. And I'll now let's switch over here for a second, and we'll go to the TV. And so again, how, when I want to go to the TV, what's as simple as this? I'll go over here to the family room television, <laughs> and I'll pick that one as my output device instead of having it be my stereo system. Go back up into the menu, and I can pick... Uh, by the way, I can play audio. I want to play any of my digital music over there. And it's not just MP3, iTunes kinds of stuff. I can do Pandora and Sirius and all of those Internet kinds of radio type uh, content, too. <laughs> Uh, here, I'll just start with photos, because it's an interesting one. Digital picture frames have been somewhat the scourge. I mean, they, they sold a lot, and consumers are really excited about the digital picture frame, but it didn't have the payoff, the promise. Because when you think digital picture frame, you go, oh, I'm going to get all my digital pictures <laughs> over on that frame, right? And the answer is, yeah, you can <laughs> if you work hard enough and you keep it up to date personally yourself by taking your stick and shoving it over, right. there, over, over and over. Here, this is what people were really thinking about. I go into my library of photos, and you know I can say, uh, you know, which of my photos I, do I want to pick? You know, I go through. You know, I'll pick this uh, Italy 2006. That set of pictures. I'll hit play, and it's as simple as that. Huh. You know, they show up instantly on. <laughs> Whatever TV screen I have chosen. In this case, the family of television. <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah, beer. That was the first time they could legally, my two sons could legally drink beer. Oh. <laughs> it was a big moment. Are these your boys? <laughs> big, big You're having moment. fun. <laughs> you can imagine how big that moment oh, was. Oh, yes. <laughs> and it's, of course, not limited to just, you know, photographs you can do anything video can be put over there so i'll go could be a movie so i'll just go into my library of whatever movies that i have you know have uh, downloaded in, in my world right all of those kinds of things um i'll go pick one of my favorites up here and hit play and it's just as simple as that it's like instead of you know you i pick that hit play there, that's up. You know, and that's up and then here there it is over on the tv just up. like that And you can control the volume and everything with this? All the wow. Volumes, you know, I can pause, play, fast forward, whatever you like. <laughs> Impressive. Impressive. Now, uh, the one of the you know the coolest things about this in terms of bringing all of this into the wild digital world mm -hmm. is one of the biggest categories, and my kids are a perfect example of that, has been Internet TV. The, and when I say that, I don't mean the funky Internet TV. I mean the TV shows like you know the popular ones, 24 Lost, Glee, etc. Yeah. That that's they're watching on the internet now instead of watching on their television you know because the, the internet has become essentially TiVo in the cloud right, for people right. and so my youngest daughter she probably watches 60-70% of her TV on the internet on the computer and, you know, it's okay but you're, you're staring screen. into this little screen yeah, and yeah. the audio is not so great and it's not always comfortable and it's not a, certainly not a social experience right yeah. to do it that way but here in Orb the beauty of this is we allow you to watch any of that internet television the same way we just did this over on your television not on your computer huh. so I go into the video I pick TV shows now interestingly originally what we did here was we actually did the shows by website you know mm -hmm. we had Hulu and ABC.com and MTV and Comedy Central 
But then people said, you know, that's kind of a hassle to remember. And so we made a universal index. So now when you go into your TV shows, I can literally just pick, I can search. <laughs> you know, the first time my daughter did this, you know, she said, how does it work? And I said, just type in your show, whatever show you yeah, like, yeah, just type yeah, it in. And yeah. she went, okay, Dad, Glee, right? And she typed in G-L-E. I have to stop here because I think this is really funny. When you just have G-L-E, you get Glee and Glenn Beck, which is an interesting <laughs> <laughs> combination. But, but we'll pick Glee in honor of my daughter in this case. And it shows you, by the way, all the shows we do, uh, some automated, and then we actually have people hand-combing through to make sure that you get good and valid links <laughs> here and no broken baloney, which mm -hmm. you get a lot of on the web. True. And it's just a matter of you pick your show. In this case, uh, we picked uh, the Sue Sylvester shuttle, Shuffle, sorry, and then you're off and running. And, you know, I pick it, play it, <laughs> and up it comes on my TV set instead of on my computer. And wow. now it's a social viewing experience. So my kids, they'll still, my daughter will still watch it if it's in bed, you know, and she's all by herself. And that's a convenient place because I wouldn't put a TV in her room. But, uh, <laughs> but when she wants to really watch it in the comfort of the living room, on the sofa, etc., bingo. She uses Orb and puts it up on the television. That's simple. This is fantastic. And uh, for all this... And uh, I'm not going to cut too much into it because NBC will get after me. But <laughs> So the pricing for this is really impressively inexpensive, I just have to say. It's, but for my viewers, fill that in for me. Yeah. So the Orb TV, which we've got here playing Glee on this yeah. television, right? $99 for Orb TV retrofits any television set and turns it into essentially a digital media receiver for any kind of digital video content. And folks, I have to say one thing. The streaming for this... You can't tell it's streamed. I mean, you really look at this. It's like this is you would swear that this is on right now. But this is a, really a stream. Stream directly from Hulu. And it's great. It's yep. from Hulu. Like, impressive. In this case, Hulu. Yeah, in this case, right? Could be from right, right, right. But you also told me that. My own blog content, I could create a sort of a channel for my own blog or website content. Yeah, right? exactly. That's so exciting. It's something we just added this capability because we were doing all the integration, to, uh, enabling these different websites to right. bring that video content in here. We just finished our yeah, an API that allows people to build their own interfaces ah, that's to their uh, content. Application programmer right. interface for those of you who don't know. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a do-it-yourself kit. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's the idea, is a do-it-yourself kit that enables websites or individuals to essentially publish their own and put that user interface so you'll be able to, people can make the selection to your blog, your capabilities, and even have the option, we're going to give people over time the option to include their content in a more global index too if they wow, like it's right? exciting yeah it's so exciting. you can go either way so i'm seeing this and i want to get orbed what do i do you can buy orb uh, now you can buy orb two places the number one place is the orb website at orb.com uh, and you can come there and order any of the products that we've seen how did we'll you get the url like uh, for that <laughs> early, we were early. <laughs> that was the key. Bad. We were early, <laughs> and uh, and the other place uh, today we've started a couple weeks ago. We started selling or music on Amazon.com. So those are wow. the two places you can get it today. And so some people in the startup field they want to know who were the venture funders, or it was in this case. Yeah, interestingly enough, so the company was originally founded in 2004, mm -hmm. and the original venture funder was uh, Morgan Thaler Ventures. Uh, then another group called Olympic Venture Partners, OVP, came in, another in 2005. Um, however, in 2008, when we shifted to go into the consumer hardware business, that wasn't the, the strength, forte, or direction of those venture firms. And so at that time, Morgan Thaler did come in and invest a little bit going forward because they were, they've were they been very loyal to the company. Mm -hmm. um, but OVP opted out, and I'm the person who's been doing all the investing since then. So I essentially took nice. over and have been you know pushing this forward since we made the shift to say, let's build a complete solution of hardware software. So you saw the vision for this, so you were willing to basically put your money where your exactly. eyes are. Yeah, I sense. loved it so much. I <laughs> no, this is I, I jump very right impressive. In. This is very impressive. And the last thing I should definitely... And why Oakland, by the way, you're saying? Oh, yeah. So Oakland, we had... Uh, the original Orb had been uh, founded in uh, Emeryville. Mm -hmm. And we had a really nice spot up in Emeryville. But uh, unfortunately, it, was, it got too expensive for us. And so we decided we were going to relocate. We got the whole company together and said, okay... What's it going to be? You know, where's everybody live? Let's try to find that, you know, that magic middle point for everybody. And, and the answer was BART. And I said, 
Bart, what do you, what do you mean Bart? <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be on a Bart line. <laughs> and so I said, oh, so, you know, downtown Oakland is on the cross of multiple Bart lines, but mm-hmm. you know, the two main ones across from San Francisco or over to the you know over to the East Bay, and then up and down the East Bay corridor. So it was perfect. It was like the maximum coverage, and we literally sit right on top of the 12th Street downtown Oakland Bart station. So it's a it's a nice nice location from that point of view. Well, I, I was I was a long time in Oakland. I want to say welcome to Oakland, but you're also going to make another point, I think, about. Uh, about the technology before we start. Oh, yeah. yeah. And one, yeah, and, you know, so these are the two products that we have gotten that are released and we're selling today. Um, but we have one that will be coming out. We announced it at CES this year. It's coming out uh, this month and we'll Ooh. start selling this month, which is called Orb Blu ray. And it's a software version. That, uh, of, is that what this is over here? Or? Yes, that's what this that's, year. Mm-hmm. And so this is, you know, it happens to be a. PS3, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know, PS3 has a Blu-ray player in it, but mm-hmm. this will also work in any of the standalone Blu-ray players, whether it's huh. a Samsung or a Sony, LG, Panasonic. Um, and so this is a disc. It's a Blu-ray disc. You put it into your Blu-ray player. It transforms that Blu-ray player into exactly the same as a Orb TV. Exactly. You can have all the same experiences we just had there, whether photos, videos, online TV, any of it on... Any of the Blu-ray players, you just plug this disc in, and it turns it into that Orb TV experience, controlled from your smart device. This is impressive. This Thank is you. Impressive. Congratulations. Yeah. We like no, it. We moving, too, huh? You're, like got the, you're moving here like you've got the... In the backdrop, and it really yeah. Yeah. Me out. Yeah. Oh, you're moving upstairs, right? Yes, we're, yeah, we're, we're expanding, so this is we're moving out, actually, of this Yeah, place. I don't want to give anybody the impression there's nobody here. It's yeah, like, right. he's like, no. It's he's moving. Ex- it's moving. It's moving. Hey, Joe, thanks a lot. Thank you it. for coming. You got it. Thank you. Cool. Definitely.